Okay, here's my latest uh, radio. It's the high performance boombox. And down here we have um, a voltmeter and an ammeter, the radio with CD player, a uh, graphic equalizer, line inputs, line outputs, power switch. This chooses whether you use the internal batteries or an external power source, such as another car battery, a cigarette lighter, or a DC to AC power converter. Uh, this controls the internal fan, this controls the internal fan speed, and this is for your antenna up-down. Um, as you will see, I have a power antenna, and you can choose how high to go by holding the switch or letting go. Wow, it goes too high. You can lower it. Um, this is all controlled by the switch. So if you should have it sitting up on a shelf and you are not able to fully extend the antenna, you won't break it. Here I have the speakers are external. I have uh, actual jacks in the back. And um, this is what the front of the speaker looks like. I have a left speaker and I have a right speaker. Cool. Okay. A little handle on top, you got your antenna. It's kind of neat now. If I turn it over, you can see what's on the back of it. These are the fans. Well, it's actually one fan. Air, hot air blows out the top, cold air sucks in. Depending on the outside air temperature and the volume depends on the cooling necessary. Um, these 20 amp outlets are actually uh, DC jacks. I have two batteries in here to get the 14 volts. Um, this is for the 2 volt battery and this is for the 12 volt battery so I can charge them independently with uh, two separate chargers because I couldn't find a 14 volt battery charger. And this is for the power in from an alternate DC source. And then over there is your speaker outputs. This plug is just one I made. And that goes to this DC power supply, which has banana plugs. So there's banana plugs on one side, and there's this on the other. It's a 20 amp uh, DC power supply, 13.8 volts, which is close enough to your car. Now I'm going to turn this around for a minute. I'm just going to fire it up. And we're going to turn power on. And it lights up. Fan. You can turn the fan speed up or down. Now the fan will go off with the unit, so you can't leave it on. I'm gonna turn the fan off though. You can change the colors. Presets. Okay, and as I said before, you hit a button and you hit the line input. And uh, I'll take it apart and show you what's inside, what makes this thing tick. Okay, now I have the unit apart. You can see the two outlets. I use 12 gauge wire stranded for the whole assembly. Here's the fan, and here's that other outlet, and you know, there's just the grill. There's not much to see on the cover, you know, and the wires just go through there and are soldered on. But in here is where all the magic happens. Here you got your power antenna. Behind the power antenna, which comes out easily, I'll pull that out in a minute so you can see it. There's the batteries. Anyhow, here's the amplifier. I ended up using a Crossfire 360 watt amp. Um, just because um, the Crossfire is an excellent amplifier. I tried a different one and it just didn't sound right. It sounded distorted to me. I put this in. It really brought it to life. So fortunately the box was never built for this amp, but luck has it that I found another one that would work. You, know, you can see uh, there's my uh, radio. 
back here you got the uh, line input adapter plug you got the gauges here we have for the low amperage loads like for the radio and stuff we got the positive side that's switched the positive and the negative that are always hot these two are always hot and down here below I did it again and I got a jumper wire going from the top down because I ran out of space to hook stuff up same thing these jumper blocks were salvaged off of an old electric space heater commercial grade space heater that was in the garbage um, as were a lot of these hookup wires some of them I made some of them are wires directly connected to stuff that I just crimped connectors on the brackets in the back if I can move some of this junk out of the way the brackets that are holding this radio on there I made I made those brackets and got different screws for the radio to make it fit and um, it actually looks like there's a lot of wires in there well there kinda is but it's actually not as bad as it looks if you take one piece at a time and trace it out it's really not that bad uh, it just looks a hundred times worse than it is here's the audio cables and I'll take the antenna Okay, now for the antenna, I undid the bolt on top here and the two screws on the bottom, and the antenna just slides right out, so you can easily access the batteries, and I'll just leave the antenna down there. More on the batteries, it's a 12-volt, 18-amper-hour battery, and because I couldn't find a 2-volt, 18-amper-hour, I took three and wired them together in parallel to make a 2-volt, 18-amper-hour battery, and these this is one battery, this is one battery, well it's actually a battery pack and the same thing electrically. And I wired them in series to get it up to 14 volts. And um, it's about a hundred bucks in batteries right there. Whew. But hey, a little heavy. But if you're going to really crank this volume up loud, take it out in a field somewhere, you're going to want the extra power. Because this thing will draw some serious amperage if you really pump the volume hard haven't really done that too much yet but you never know I might and um, you know put the antenna in it's real easy you just slide it in there and put the bolts back on and you know and you're done and I could even add a subwoofer if I wanted to because it's got a subwoofer output and um, could definitely be upgraded fairly easily and this whole cover just slides on. Slides on like this. Two screws on the top and two screws on the bottom. I got to push the wires in. And uh, that's it. High performance boombox. 360 watts. Which could be easily upgraded with a larger amplifier. But I'll smoke those speakers before I run out of power. I almost burned them already. Testing. A speaker there, a speaker there, everything's got handles. That's the radio. Okay, she's fired up.